Now that I have my headlight wires and I'm gonna throw all the wires ready, basically what I'm gonna do here is just add my connectors. And go from there. Okay, so, so far we're done with this bottom half. We're done with the top. Now all we have to do is worry about this little area right here. And that's pretty much it. We'll be done. So let's go ahead and jump I'm done on done with my scooter. I'm pretty much working on my controller now. We're gonna go ahead and put these connectors on there. That way it'd be plug and play pretty much. Now, as you can tell with these connectors, I just pretty much took them off for of display unit. When you clip them, you can reuse them and it makes it a lot easier. You just plug it in and pretty much just right off. Same thing with this. I just took this off the motherboard. It's right here, the old factory birth controller. I'm gonna do the same thing with this little XT60 connector. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just bend my board back and forth until I can get this to come off, just like that. And everything else is pretty much trash. I just need this part. As long as I have this, I'll manage to get all this taken out, looking clean. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and start off with our main positive and negative lead first. We're gonna go ahead and put this together. And like I said, we're gonna hardwire this thinner red wire into this thicker red wire. That way we can activate the controller. So let's do that now. Now we're going to work on our motor wires. see i'm done with my hall sensor wires now i did wrap them up pretty good have them tight down with some glue including the uh the heat shrink that's to ensure that these wires don't come loose they're real small they're real fragile the things will come loose just like a small little tug man so just to be sure they don't i just kind of held them down pretty tight everything's secure my next step from here is to move on to my throttle wire and then my headlight wire after so that i'm work on our throttle pretty much what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna cut this connector off and I'm gonna replace it with one of these because I have the other end 
right here. So make it a lot easier. so this is basically it i'm basically at the end of this now what i'm gonna do is get inside the controller get my 5 volt supply what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna use this reverse signal pretty much just from the inside reroute this gray wire connect it to a 5 volt supply and that's it close my thing and be on my way So what I'm gonna do here is my bypass K2 to ground. I'm just gonna bridge it, add solder and close that gap. Now this is lastly, this is my headlight connection. Get rid of that, even these out. All right, so we're just gonna do this part without the actual battery housing or the casing on this. Now you see that it's pushed up and it stops right there. All right, now let's jump over to this side really quick. All right, so now that I've got my tabs removed for the most part, it's measuring at just a little bit over seven inches. Like I said, this is without the shell on it so you guys can have a better visual on what's going on. So it's gonna sit in here like this, like this. Now the battery is already at its maximum capacity. It has no more room. And so I'm stuck right at this point, right there. So I gotta get rid of that nudge right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. Let's go ahead and work on that. 
So with this middle nudge in the way, from that point to this point, it measures exactly seven inches. Now, once I delete that, once I get rid of it, it's gonna bring me right above seven and a half inches in length. I'm getting rid of this one because that's where my controller is gonna lay at. I'm getting rid of this one right here. That way I can have this space, push it back. This right here, which should be all right. Don't need this cut off because you know, the back wheel kicks water up in this little area, so. I already have all my wires tied up. Simple shrink wrap, move this to the corner. Just kind of stick it under this brake line here. And now I can cut my slits down here. Cut straight across and get rid of these two, smooth it out. That way be a flat surface. All right, so as you can see, I made my slits. All I gotta do is get it out this way and then work on these. So let's get that out the way. Right here I'm using the good old Stanley hammer. Right here, we're gonna get rid of these two little tabs, this one and this one here. I already got them cut out. Now I just gotta bang them out of place. So let's do that. All right, so since we made it this far, we already got that tab knocked out. We have that much more space. Now let's go ahead and retry this, see what we get. I'm gonna push the back of my controller towards the battery and lay the front end down. And just like that, there you go. I gotta turn your wire sideways and I'll show you guys how to do all that here in a little while. Just wanna show you guys without the battery housing, what it looks like. You actually see I have that much more space. So I didn't actually have to get rid of this, but there it goes, that's what it looks like. Now let's go ahead and close this thing. Just about done with this little bottom deal here. As you can tell, I put a piece of this Gorilla Glue waterproof tape from right underneath this slit. I just pushed it up with something to kind of push it and close it up. Now I'm gonna do the same thing with the top. There you go, that's what that looks like. All right, so I have my batteries set inside my housing. Now you can tell how I have it kind of sticking out about three inches. And that's because I've got it covering that hole. I need all that space I can use. And I got it stopped right to where the BMS, right where the end of the BMS stops. That's where I kind of got it cut off at. So now we can add our controller in and you'll see that it should stop right before the screw. This. Now I can close this bad boy up. You don't have to do any cutting. I don't have to cut this down or anything like that. It fits straight in. So right here, I'm gonna go ahead and start closing my back cover. But before I do, let's go ahead and connect our motor wires and haul wire. charging port cable back into it a lot. From this point, I have all my wires connected except for my main power lead. You wanna grab your controller 
and go ahead and run that in this way. Just like that. Now you can connect your power tab. That's right, Wayne. Now what I'm gonna do is give it throttle and the wheel should continue to move that way. That's it, now let's go ahead and get our thing shut. As you can see right here, I did manage to tack it for the most part. This one kind of came loose, as you can see. But everything's tacked up there pretty good, so I don't have to worry about nothing getting pinched in these little deals right here. So put some super glue to hold this rubber seal down. So that's the reason why you don't see it kind of flapped up. But let's go ahead and shut this back part. So I'm at the back half of my scooter. Now I'm just gotta get all these wires in here and that's it, I'm done. All right, man, so I've come to the end of my video. So this is what it looks like. I have my headlight running on a 12 volt on our button. Give it some throttle. Now I do need to adjust my brakes. That way I can get rid of that little scratch that's going on on the disc. But other than that, everything's good, everything's straight. Make sure y'all hit that thumbs up. If y'all find my video useful, make sure y'all subscribe. All right, man, I'm gone.